हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स वी आर इन द चैप्टर ऑफ डिफरेंट प्रोटेक्शन फॉर स्टीम टर्बाइन एंड वी हैव कवर्ड ओवर स्पीड एंड बेरिंग ऑयल प्रेशर एंड टेम्परेचर इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर हाई थ्रस्ट ऑन टर्बाइन और वी कैन से हाई एक्सीयर डिस्प्लेसमेंट सो वाई दीज टू आर टूगेदर सो दीज आर वेरी मच रिलेटेड टू इच अदर सो थ्रस्ट इज वॉट थ्रस्ट वॉट इट विल डू सो इट विल पुश द टर्बाइन रोटर either side and it will cause a movement which is denoted as a displacement so these two are very uh, one or the uh, same thing we can say so let us go and understand in detail welcome friends to power plant guru youtube channel friends i am a mechanical engineer with around 20 years of experience in the field of power plant and i used to create small fundamental knowledge series videos for power plant engineers we also run doubt clearing sessions on weekends so if you want to reach us you can reach us through comment section and join our weekend classes let us continue to watch our today's video so it is a very simple diagram here if you see so this is the steam inlet very simple basic understanding so let us say if the steam is entering in this side and flowing in this direction so there are two types of blade one is fixed blade which is mounted on the casing fixed one and there is a uh, there are other set of blades which are on the rotor so these are rotating rotor rotate so what will happen you just imagine steam will try to push this right as it is flowing towards this side it will try to push this okay so this is a basic understanding of thrust so it is moving try to move the rotor in this direction so that is what the thrust is called now turbine is designed in a way that uh, it is not in that uh, directly in this fashion there will be this is a very simple diagram but there will be you know uh, many a times turbines are like this uh there are uh, in central there is a entry and there are two sides there is a turbine which uh, one may be hp one may be lp so something is going from this side exiting this side and again entering in this side so this this will push this side thrust and this side of uh, blades will put this side thrust so this kind of arrangement is there to balance but just to make you understand so what is this thrust to so the the kind of push from turbine steam turbine uh, moving steams is the force which we can call it as a thrust so what are the reasons uh, what are the reasons why there will be high thrust on this uh, system so here we have explained the reason i'll come to that but let us understand if there is a high thrust what will happen let it be high thrust why it is so important to have a check on it so for that you have to understand this gap this gap is the thing which is deciding our thrust limits the difference between stator and rotor blades there will be very very minor difference very minor not difference is not the right word very minor gap is there 
so that gap is there if you push the rotor this side this side or this side either side it have a chances to rub against the static plates and this will be a very costly damage or permanent damage to turbine so that is why have a check on this axial displacement we have to balance the thrust so this is the reason why it it has to be in the limit right so uh, now let us go to the why, what are the reasons why it uh, there is a uh, there, so let's say you have a very sudden change in load so already let's say 100 tons of steam was flowing and system was stable suddenly it got reduced to 10 tons so the tendency was to have this uh, much of force on this side but suddenly the force reduced so it may have a chance suddenly to come back on this side so this kind of situation may give you a reading on thrust which may be <coughs> temporary also and there may be uh, let's say uh, different extractions so what are shown here thus the only entry but there are a lot of extraction may which may go to your hp heaters your deaerators so a lot of extractions will be there so let's say there is a heat uh, steam which is going to heater and suddenly due to level high this heater cut off so then you again have a kind of shock in the flow so that will give us you uh, give the turbine a kind of uh, unbalanced flow and that will result on a thrust so this is the basic definition or basic understanding which you should have while you are reading uh, 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 i mean reading the thrust reading or on the dcs panel or basic uh, fundamental you should have So here in this image let us understand so this image this is your thrust collar this this part this is a symbolic image so this is your collar on both the side you have thrust bearing right this side also you have thrust bearing and this side also you have a thrust bearing ignore this pump ignore this pump because this may be uh, applicable in pump also i have taken image from that so first uh, uh, i mean front side of this will have your displacement measurement probe so this side there will be probes mounted for example these are the probes mounted which will read the reading of how much is the thrust so if you are turbine is moving in this direction from hp side to lp side from hp side to lp side this is your positive displacement so this axial displacement reading you might have positive and negative both you might have in your turbine control panel and if it is the on the opposite side like in this way then this will read the negative displacement reading this is from hp side to lp side so this may be your uh, uh, i mean negative side of displacement so who hope uh, you might have understood on both the side there will be your thrust bearings which may have a tilting pad thrust design there will be pads all around this uh, this is a cross section so this is a collar on both side there will be pad which will circumference this collar on the 360 degree so then you have your uh, protection and that is why uh, your uh, these limits are on check otherwise it may go haywire otherwise this is these are the two things which are holding this collar so that the displacement doesn't go uh, on this side and on 
very high limits of uh, this axial displacement your machine will get trapped another very important thing which is a very conceptual thing many people may know or might not also know so you have to imagine when your turbine is rotating although we see that turbine shaft is very heavy and uh, the casing i mean all it is a very heavy uh, steel construction but you just imagine when your turbine shaft is rotating when your turbine shaft is rotating there is no so it is supported on very raw representation excuse me for drawing but this is supported on journal bearings right journal bearings and there will be oil film around it right it will be slightly floating and there will be very minor thin film and if you imagine there is no physical contact so this shaft is very tender or very soft to move in any direction if you just push it it will move by a lot of uh, position so you have to keep this in mind while your machine is moving shaft is very very much sensitive that is why your all vibration measurements displacements are in microns and uh, your vibration uh, velocity sensors are in mm per second so you have to imagine while your turbine shaft is stand still it is the rotor is lying on the bearing pads and it is very heavy but when it starts rotating it is like a very uh, swift movement it is floating in the air and a small push in any direction will make it move very quickly so that is what i just wanted to convey in this video hope you have learned something this was a very basic uh, thing for beginners who are starting their career or just want to know the basics if you have any question in detail you may ask in comment section i'll try to reply thank you thank you very much for watching my video